Dear students, in this video I would like to discuss about population inversion that is 3 and 4 level laser system. 3 and 4 level laser system. 3 and 4 level laser system. Okay, so in previous video we have discussed about population inversion. For better understanding, please watch that previous video. I have given the link in the description box. Okay, so let us get into the video now. So what we have discussed in that population inversion, there are two energy levels. Okay, two level energy system. That is one is ground state and another one is excited state. So this is ground state. It is E1 and this is the excited state okay so two energy levels will be there what is the population inversion condition n2 greater than n1 okay the number of atoms should be greater in the excited state right so here n1 represents number of atoms in the ground state and n2 represents number of atoms in the excited state generally let us take one example imagine here six atoms are there six atoms Okay. In this case, in the excited state, less number of atoms only there. Generally, the condition should be e, E1 always lesser than E2. E2 only the higher energy state. But as per the number of atoms, what will happen? Number of atoms will be more in the ground state. So, N1 greater than N2. This is the normal condition already we have discussed. But to achieve the population inversion, we have to get the condition N2 should be greater than N1. So, what we will do for that reason, we will apply the we will do the pumping okay we will apply the energy so uh, in the form of pumping so now i am going to apply the energy how much energy i have to supply now you see that is e2 difference e, e, the h nu how much i have to apply is e2 minus e1 so now h nu is equal to e2 minus e1 so this three photons will go up the three photons will go up okay by the time the lifetime of atom in the excited state is 10 power minus 8 seconds only right so by the time this atoms will come down this atoms will come down by releasing the energy right so this will come down so what is the condition now here only 3 is there here already 3 plus this 2 it become 5 previously it is 6 but by means of this supplying energy we just lifted this atom to the excited state by the time the two atoms in the excited state completes its lifetime 10 power minus 8 seconds so automatically it will come back to the ground state due to by using the spontaneous emission it will come out okay so now you see here the number of atom is 3 but here the number of atom is 5 so the condition is n1 is only greater than n2 we cannot achieve n2 greater than n1 when we use only the two energy levels when we use the two energy levels so to achieve the population inversion the two level energy system will never work out okay so we cannot use the two level energy system right so that is the reason they have developed three level and four level laser system so let us discuss in detail of this three level and four level laser system okay right so let us get into the topic so now the next one is three level laser system so here by seeing the diagram you can understand three energy levels are there so how this three energy levels are developed so in order to establish the condition of population inversion what is the condition n2 greater than n1 okay to, in order to establish the condition of population inversion it is necessary that excited state has a longer lifetime actually already we know that excited state is having 10 power minus 8 seconds a very short period but here we are going to discuss about one more excited state that is called metastable state that is called metastable state so metastable state is such a state where the atoms can stay for a longer time in the order of 10 power minus 3 seconds in the order of 10 power minus 3 seconds now you see here the lifetime is very shorter enough but here the lifetime is longer okay so the atoms can stay long time in the 
excited state this excited state is called metastable state but how this metastable state is created in which substance it is available so that is what now we are going to discuss there are certain substances in which electrons once excited they remain in the higher energy level or excited state for longer time what is the longer time i mentioned 10 power minus 3 seconds okay such systems are called active systems such systems are called active systems or medium okay it may be the glass uh, sorry gas or solid or any medium active medium which are generally a mixture of different elements mixture of different elements different elements right okay so in all the substances this is metastable state is not possible only certain substances it has the metastable state that uh, that is named it as active system or active medium it is the mixture of different elements it is the mixture of different elements when such mixtures are formed their electronic energy levels are modified now three energy levels are there okay instead of two we are having the three energy levels and such type of materials are used to form three level or four level laser system also later we are going to discuss about four level so now you will have the idea about three level laser system previously we have discussed only two levels one is ground state and excited state with this two level we cannot achieve pump population inversion so that we included one more state that is called a metastable state in the metastable state the lifetime of the atom is 10 power minus 3 seconds that is longer period the atom can stay in the metastable state so uh, that metastable state can be uh, generated by means of the mixture of different elements that is called active system or active medium okay so i hope you understand how the metastable state is created let us discuss how the population is uh, in uh, population inversion is achieved in case of three level laser system uh, again i have given the same example so first let us discuss about the energy levels so e1 is lesser than e2 is lesser than e3 so e3 is the higher energy state right and then when compared with the number of atoms n1 is greater than n2 is greater than n3 right so how many numbers i have given here 6 greater than 4 greater than 2 okay here 6 atoms are there here 4 atoms and here 2 atoms are there again i am going to take the same example that is 3 photons i am going to apply okay so now how much that means the atoms should be shifted to the higher energy state e3 so how much energy i have to apply h nu is equal to e3 minus e1 then only the atoms will uh, shifted up to the excited state e3 so now this atoms will go up due to the supply of the energy right so this atoms will go up okay by the time these two atoms completed their lifetime 10 power minus 8 seconds so automatically it will jump to the low uh, that means metastable state the next state okay it jumps so during the jumping it never produces the light so this jumping is named it as non radiative transition what is the name for this non radiative transition that meaning is it does not release energy in the form of light it does not produce light okay it will not produce light okay so maybe in the form of heat okay but it will not produce the light that is what we have to understand simply it will jump so now it creates how many atoms are there in the uh, metastable state 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now it becomes a 6 okay by the time here 1 2 3 is there so now you see 6 is greater than 3 we can able to understand 6 is greater than 3 that is n2 is greater than n1 that is the required transition for us required population inversion so now you see what will happen out of the six first one atom will come down after completing their lifetime that is 10 power minus 3 seconds it will come down so that time the energy difference will be listen carefully once again i will draw the diagram so this is n1 sorry this is n2 n1 and this is e1 and this is e2 right so one atom comes down by releasing the energy okay how much energy e2 minus e1 it jumps from 2 to 1 so e2 minus e1 right this is happening due to spontaneous emission 
spontaneous emission right this is the natural process so this e2 minus e1 will go this photon will go and stimulate the other photons here so again it will come down by the time it releases two energy two photons again the two will go and induce two more so it will become two will become four four will become eight like that keep on the uh, inducement will takes place so in this way here we achieve the population inversion by achieving population inversion stimulated emission takes place so that it produces the laser light but here in case of three level laser system we have two drawbacks so what is the drawback in the sense here this e1 is the terminating point end point so the atom should come then only it will be shifted up again the process will continue so here once the atom comes again we have to supply the energy so the energy supplying is nothing but a pumping so pumping should be high enough the pumping should be high enough then only the process will continuously moving on right so the pumping is high and the uh, nature of output nature of output should be pulsed one now you see can you able to i see the gap in between this so the laser will be pulsed laser it will not come continuously there will be some gap in between the laser okay so this is the pulsed laser so three level laser system means three levels what are the three levels brown state metastable state excited state so the lifetime of the excited state is 10 power minus 8 seconds the lifetime of the metastable state is 10 power minus 3 seconds okay so in between these two energy states we can achieve the population inversion and then we can get the result but the main drawback is the pumping should be high and the nature of the output will be pulsed okay these are the two drawbacks that can be overcome in four level laser system the process everything will be similar but here we will involve four energy levels so let us discuss about four level energy system okay now what are the four levels e1 e2 e3 e4 so already i have drawn the diagram for understanding e1 e2 e3 e4 same thing e1 is lesser than e2 which is lesser than e3 which is lesser than e4 okay so e4 is the highest energy state and then as per the number of number of atoms n1 greater than n2 greater than n3 greater than n4 right so here how many i have drawn 6 sorry i how many atoms i mentioned here 6 greater than 4 greater than 3 greater than 2 so here 4 6 4 3 2 okay so now how the process will work listen carefully so three photons we are supplying so here the atoms should be shifted to the highest energy level e4 so how much energy to be supplied which should be e4 minus e1 right so the three atoms will go up three atoms will go up so here one two three by the time it completes their lifetime 10 power minus 8 seconds so automatically this will come down so this transition is non radiative transition as we discussed in the previous case also non radiative transition the, during this transition it does not release energy in the form of light okay it may produce heat okay so now the two atoms reaches here okay so now you think 1 2 3 4 5 atoms here and here 1 2 3 4 atom is there so in between this two energy levels e3 and e2 it achieves the condition that is by comparing this n3 is greater than n2 right but when we consider only these two energy level means we can write this is the higher state and this is the lower state this is higher this is lower so n2 greater than n1 so in this in between e3 and e2 we achieved the condition population inversion n2 greater than n1 right so automatically what will happen once the lifetime is over then the atom will come down due to the spontaneous emission already you know that so spontaneous emission means what is the meaning this is spontaneous emission so how much energy it is releasing now e3 minus e2 okay e3 minus e2 so this photon will go and induce one atom in the excited state so by the time it will come down by the time it releases two photons right so one become two now this two will induce two more here then four will come 
four H nu will come, and then four will induce so that it will produce eight H nu. So each step the photon is multiplying. Okay, and then here one more thing we have to understand: this E two is not a terminating point; it is not a end point, right? So after this, the atom automatically come back to the ground state by means of spontaneous emission. Okay, so that the chain reaction will continuously going on e2 is not a end pro end station right termination point that is the reason the pumping how much we are applying is less only comparatively with the previous case in the three level laser system pumping should be high why because uh, that uh, end point is the ground state but here end point is not the ground state right that's what the pumping uh, pumping source how much energy applies means it will be less energy only and the nature of the output nature of the output is continuous output is continuous continuous like this the laser light will come okay but in previous case three level laser system pulsed why because the last termination point is ground state but here it is not the ground state so that if you apply the less energy automatically the process will continue and then it will produce the continuous laser it will produce the continuous laser so these are the two advantages over the three level laser system okay so i hope you understand four level laser system and the three level laser system and then four level laser system is used in helium neon laser okay in gaseous laser we use the helium neon laser and then three level laser system it is used in b laser it is used in ruby laser ruby laser okay so now we have discussed about two three level and a four level laser system i just started with the two level laser system it is not possible to achieve the population inversion when we use only the two energy levels so definitely we have to increase the energy levels and then we developed a three level laser system here we have seen two drawbacks and these two drawbacks are overcome in the four level laser system i hope you understand this topic if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask me in the comment box Okay thank you everyone